do an experiment here to show why the hexagonal honeycomb is best. Uh, the honeycomb fits in the most area for the least perimeter. And I'm starting here with the six cups uh, surrounded by a belt. And I'm going to slowly draw in the belt while I jostle the cups. And you see as soon as I start doing so, there's room to add one more cup. And then I'll just keep going. Uh, continuing to pull in the belt tighter and tighter. And let's see what shape they go into. Uh, and we're done. We have now uh, the honeycomb pattern with six cups arranged in a honeycomb hexagon. And the belt is now a round circle surrounding them. With you mentioning hexagons and honeycombs, I'm instantly thinking about bees. So is this, am, am I correct, am I in the right area here? Exactly. Um, if you look at the shape of the honeycomb, uh, it's made out of hexagons with six sides, and those fit together to make a hexagonal honeycomb. And this has remarkable mathematical properties. Uh, the hexagonal honeycomb is the way to fit the most area with the least perimeter. Uh, let's start with three possible arrangements. Uh, we'll take the uh, triangle arrangement, take the arrangement with squares, and we'll take an arrangement with hexagonal honeycombs. Uh, let's look at why the hexagon is better than the triangle shape. If I take a hexagon with the same perimeter as the triangle, okay, so this edge length should be the same as this edge length, this edge length should be the same as this edge length, and I have six segments going around the triangle, and I have six segments going around the hexagon. Here, we're able to fit in four triangles, but if I do the same thing with a hexagon, we see that there's room to fit six triangles instead of four. So this has the same perimeter as this, only four fit with the triangle arrangement, but six fit with the hexagon arrangement. So that shows that the hexagon is better than the triangle. It's a little more difficult to see why the squares are worse than the hexagons. But again, if you make a square with the same perimeter as a hexagon, uh, the hexagon will contain more area than a square. And the reason is that the hexagon is rounder than the square and rounder than the triangles. Uh, we might try the same thing with an octagon. If I try, well, we immediately run into a problem, and that is there isn't room to fit a third octagon around this corner. So even though the octagon is rounder than the hexagon, these pieces no longer fit together, and so they can't be the solution to the honeycomb problem. You seem quite confident about saying that, that the hexagons are the best here. Yes, uh, and the reason is that in 1999, I produced a proof that no possible other uh, shape, uh, even if you allow uh, different chambers to have different shapes, Still, the hexagon is the best possible. And, and so, in some sense, do we think that maybe the bees already know this when they're building their hexagons? Well, this is a question that has intrigued uh, mathematicians and philosophers for centuries. Uh, the hexagonal arrangement is best. Um, the philosopher Dennett talks about 
competence without comprehension. Um, a football player might not need to understand physics uh, before kicking a ball. A butterfly uh, doesn't have to understand the design of the camouflage of its own wings. And bees can have this competence without comprehension. They do not need to understand why the hexagonal honeycomb is best. Uh, we can leave that to the mathematicians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.